Now, a story you will see only on News 5. A mobile realtor and client tell us a man pulled a gun on them when they went to see a house. Dana Winter joins us now live from Thornton Place near where the women were parked. Dana, what can you tell us? Roseanne, both women tell us they initially spotted the man when he flipped them off near a spot sign, stop sign. They say he followed them pulling up here, blocking them in the driveway so they couldn't escape. We heard him, you know, cursing and saying the foul language and, you know, black. Samantha Hunter and her clients say the man would not let them leave. He gestured for us to get out the car, and I told her, do not get out her car. And proceeding that, he got out his car, came into the driveway within two feet of my car. That's when Hunter says she saw the man's gold gun. The only thing I could think about was trying to, uh, I'm sorry, trying to. She thought about her six year old child. Make it home. Hunter says her client's quick thinking could have saved her life. When I saw he was at her car and he cocked his gun, I had my pills already ready because when you see somebody that has turned around to come back to you, it automatically brought back thoughts of the um, Ahmaud Arbery story in Georgia. I thank God that, you know, I had someone there that, you know, had some type of protection at that time. The pair called police. On their way out of the neighborhood, they say they unknowingly drove past the man's home. That's when we heard the gunshot go off. So I don't know if that was a warning shot. Only thing I could tell her at that moment, don't stop. Based on what the women heard the man say, they think he was profiling them. I do believe he came up at us because we are women, but mostly because I was a colored woman. Mobile police tell us officers wrote the report for reckless endangerment and menacing. Officers say the man could face charges. Reporting live in Mobile, I'm Dana Winter for WKRG News 5.